there is a long correlation between anarchism and pedophilia and support for pedophilia. The Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a beautiful line. Thank you so much for asking. How about something relevant? I've been talking about rape culture all day, and pedophilia and the support of pedophilia is not rape culture. Actually, actually, it seems you're acting like this is a spurious connection. So we're going to play Jeopardy. This is, we're going to play queer theory, we're going to play queer theory, pedophilia, Jeopardy. Okay, answer. Uh, commonly called the godfather of queer theory. Uh, who is Foucault? Who is Foucault? I got it. Okay, 100 points. Um, Foucault, uh, another way to ask this is who argued, no, I guess the answer would be, argued for the eradication of age of consent laws as in down to infants? Uh -huh. Who is Foucault? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next one. Um, uh, the author of the the author of the uh, founding document of queer theory. Who is Gail Rubin? Who is Gail Rubin? Um, what percentage? Don't know. The answer is fifty percent. Question is the amount in that article that was a defense of pedophilia, specifically quote boy lovers, so men who fuck boys. Oh. And since you're not believing me, quote, quote, this is in the founding document of queer theory. Like communists and homosexuals in the 1950s, boy lovers are so stigmatized that it is difficult to find defenders of their civil liberties, let alone for their erotic orientation. That's in the founding document of queer theory. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm using facts. <laughs> a thousand, a thousand apologies. One must never let facts in the way. Oh, and she also compared, by the way, she compared pedophilia. She compared pedophilia to uh, a preference for spicy food. Um, the thing is, I have never heard of anyone who has to have years of therapy because they ate hot and sour soup. Okay, so up to 200. Now it is, uh, now it is, now it is pedophilia and queer theory for 300. Uh, that would be author of uh, Macho Sluts. My author of Macho Sluts and Public Sex. Pat Califia. Wait, wait, wait. What was it somebody said? Stay relevant. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk about uh, Pat Califia. Okay, here's something from one of uh, Pat Calipia's books. You know, it's really interesting. It's really interesting that when I actually start talking about the relationship between queer theory and anarchism and pedophilia, that uh, it becomes, they, they really want to shut me up now. Um, okay, so here's Pat Calipia. Pat Calipia. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 just a second. Just a second. I was accused of homophobia because I'm against pedophilia. Yes. Right. Who is it who actually makes the connections between that? Okay, here's something by Pat Califia. Pat Califia has written, any child old enough to decide whether or not she or he wants to eat spinach, play with trucks, or wear shoes is old enough to decide whether or not she wants to run around naked in the sun, masturbate, sit in someone's lap, or engaged in sexual activity, by which she does not mean play doctor, she means with adults. And she's very clear about that because she also says that uh, pedophiles should be more and not less uh, invested in children's lives. Uh, okay, so we're at 300. 400 is uh, the most famous uh, queer theorist of today. Answer. Okay, Judith Butler is the most uh, famous queer theorist of the day. We see you, all of you supporting yeah. here. Who Good. do not care about trans people's lives. Every person here supports their children. Okay, okay, okay. Here's a great quote from Judith Butler. Here's a great quote from Judith Butler. Okay, so. 
So Judith Butler wrote, so I keep adding this qualification. When incest is a, so I keep adding this qualification. When incest is a violation, suggesting I think there may be occasions in which it is not. Why would I talk that way? Well, I do think that there are probably forms of incest that are not necessarily traumatic, and which or which gain their traumatic character by virtue of the conscience of social stain that they produce. Yeah, that's Judith Butler. That's one of that's one of the queer heroes. Okay, now now we have we have. Uh, uh, for 500, uh, we have um, the last one in the queer theory and pedophilia. Uh, the answer is queer theorist who has spoken out strongly against pedophilia. Zero. Zero. Who is no one? Who is no one? Not a single one. Because the entire thing is based on transgressing. Saying things like should be in an asylum. I didn't say that. that. I just said if they if they want to identify as a cat or something, then they're like genuinely unwell. Then they've gone yeah, they're crazy. Unstable. You were questioning their identity. No, no, I wasn't a question. I was just saying about the genders. I didn't say anything about them. But where did you get this idea from? There's only two genders. I just think it's my opinion. That is my opinion. If I respect their opinion, can't they respect my opinion? It is not an opinion. Yes, it yeah, is. It's, it's not an opinion you can have. Those people think there's only two genders. There's only a boy and a girl yesterday. There's, there's no other private part. There's only two. Gender is not linked to do with the not linked there to the parts that you were born with. Gender is about how you identify. Which is what I said right from the very beginning yeah, of no, the No, I just lesson. don't agree with yeah. that. So why should I have to listen biological, to that? Biological sex, there is actually biological sex because you can be born intersex you can be born with male and female body parts or hormones yeah. did you know that yeah there's three there's not 300 doesn't mean yeah, there's three i'm talking about biological sex in terms of gender there are lots of genders right. there is transgender there is a gender people yeah, that don't believe one. they have a gender at all yeah but you can't have that you, are, no, you can't gender. have that it's not a law yeah, yeah but it's, it's just, not a law, but it's our opinion. We just don't agree with it. We just think it's all just. If you have a vagina, you're a girl. If you have a penis, you're a boy. Yeah. So. But cisgender is not necessarily the way to be. It's you are talking about the fact that cisgender is the, the norm. That you identify with the gender that of the sexual order that you're born with yeah. or you're with. That's yeah. basically what you're saying. Yeah. Which is really despicable. How? When it's if I called true. my mum right now, my mum would bitch Same. be on my side. If I called my mum, she'd say. Well, that's very sad as well, then. How is it? Loads of people agree with that. There's only a small majority of people who actually think that. And why do you think we have so many problems in the world with homophobia? Yeah, but because that's of not homophobia. Exactly. That's, that's not homophobia. gender. Yeah. Yes, I'm fine is. with lesbians and gay people. Same. I've got nothing against them. That's same. But gender is, <laughs> there is a link between it. And you're How? saying that people can't change who no, they, they want to be. They can't, unless you You're get a so penis wrong. attached. No, I'm not. You're confusing sex and gender. No, I'm not though, because if yes, you have you a are. vagina, you're a girl. If you have a penis, you're a boy. Yeah, you can't be. You can't have a vagina and be a girl. But gender then unless you get separate, even then, because you've got those genes. How you identity? Oh, how you identify? It. Yeah, it's, but it's not an opinion yes, that we're expressing this yes, school. Yes, it is. No, it's not. And if you don't like it, you need to go to a different school. So I did go to I'm reporting you to Miss Willis. You need to have a proper educational conversation about edu about equality, diversity and inclusion. Oh, I'm I'm because I'm not that having that. that expressed in my lesson. When I'm teaching you about you can be who you want to be, how you it. identify is up to so you. Everyone else thinks it, they just don't say it because then all yeah. this happens. Maybe because they're polite and maybe they're sensitive. I've never, I haven't said anything in all of the lessons I've been in. It's just because they turned around and started saying something. So I said, how can you identify as a cat when you're a girl? Well, yeah. well they're now writing a statement. I would imagine oh. that you'll be asked to write a statement as well. We will. Yeah, we will.